What's going on guys? So a lot of people are obviously hyped up for the next GTA, the next GTA trailer, the next GTA announcement. Something from Rockstar, right? Everybody's crying on their pages on Twitter and Instagram. Where's GTA 6? You guys have been milking GTA 5 too long. Please give me GTA 6. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life if I don't have it. Even though I'm going to quit playing it in like a year. But please give me the new game. I, I'd really appreciate it. Like, that's all they're doing is just crying on their pages day by day. Anything they post, it don't matter. Like, we don't care. We don't care. Just give us GTA 6. So, obviously, I've talked about this a lot, man. GTA 5 is obviously still broken after 10 years. So, to me, I don't think we need a rush game. We need a game that is actually finished this time and ready to go. So, realistically, man, look, we're in October. Today's October 10th. So, you know, two months, two and a half months left in the year. Okay, Rockstar has to announce it soon, or they might as well just wait until next year. Okay, um, once they actually officially announce something, that could be tomorrow, it could be the next day, it could be a month from now, two weeks from now. I feel like if they're going to do it, it's either going to be within the next few days, in the next few weeks, or the next month. And if they don't do it within any of those time periods or time frames, they might as well just wait until the next, until the next year. Because we're literally pushing into 2024. So, uh, and then, and then the game, okay, so they may put out something like a teaser or something like that. May not even put out a date. Okay, they may put out a teaser trailer first and say coming soon or something like that. And then there may be an official trailer, or they could just do an official trailer first and then say, okay, this is when it's releasing, let's say, uh, September of 2025. So then you got to wait the whole another year, too, pretty much. You know what I mean? And, and then there's a possibility of them doing what they did to GTA V, which is kick it back from March that was supposed to come out that year in 2013 to September of 2013. Or they can kick it back from September all the way to, like, June or something like that. Now, I'm not saying this could possibly or this could have happened 100%, but it's very possible for it to happen because we're talking about Rockstar and they don't do things like every other developer does things, which is really not good. But uh, regardless, man, lots of respect for Rockstar, man. Obviously, I've had a lot of success with GTA 5 uh, and GTA 5 Online. And, uh, you know, obviously, I built my channel up from this game. And, uh, you know, a lot of you guys, you know, watching here, you know, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for GTA. You know what I mean? So shout out to Rockstar for uh, for keeping it going. But I just think that things need to be done. You know what I mean? Things need to be done. We need to have a fixed game, a ready-to-go game, not a broken one that lasts for 10 years again. You know what I mean? Um, so realistically, I would say maybe next month, okay, or let, or sooner uh, is when I expect it to come out. Now, also, uh, the next upcoming DLC, okay, that's going to be the next thing for GTA Online. The last one was in June, okay, it was the San Andreas Mercenary DLC. I think it was the end of June or the middle of June, something like that. So that means you got July, August, September, and now we're in October, the middle of it. So by the time we get to November, it'll be five months. So that would mean that we are due, usually it's like every six months. We usually be due every six months, but I think the past time they released one actually faster. So it doesn't necessarily have to be six months on a release. For Rockstar to drop something, they could do it anytime they want, any day they want. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's usually what they do. They usually post really early in the morning on something, on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, any of their pages about whatever it is. And then that's it. And then sometimes they'll do something different depending on what it is. Uh, but I think that we're looking for a release on the trailer, our teaser trailer, whatever it is, sometime in November or maybe right before November or maybe in a few days, like I said. And then the upcoming DLC, there's no telling what could be in that, but we have that coming up. We should have that coming up at least before the beginning of the year starts at 2024. Uh, we got the Halloween stuff, the rest of the, ha the face paints coming up. We got the rest of the DLC events coming up. Then we got Thanksgiving. I don't know if they're going to do anything for that. And then we got the Christmas events and stuff like that, festive surprise to go along with that. And then hopefully a new DLC. I would hope for mansions. And a lot of uh, uh, bug fixes and things like that. Maybe fix God mode finally. Uh, fix the sticky bombs. Do a lot of actual fixes on the game and then put different things in. Uh, instead of just putting DLCs in and making the game more broken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so really there's no telling uh, as to what's going to happen. You just got to wait. You know what I mean? And eventually we might get something. Hopefully it's not going to be broken. Because I already know that the next GTA is going to be a lot bigger than this one. So... If it's anything the way this one is, at least for online-wise, 
that's not going to be good. So we'll leave it at that, man. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments, man. I'd appreciate it. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. If you're new, hit that sub button. Turn on post notifications. And you guys have a good one. Peace.